It is Wednesday, my dudes. Hey, what's up, guys? Demented Monkey here, and today we're doing episode 5 of Build a Bot. This isn't a live commentary as it usually is, as Elgato decided to be a bit of an arse and isn't working as well as I had hoped, and most of the things um, that I've tried to do. Um, to try and get it better and try to get it working just won't work and as you can see in the last episode it was kind of uh, you know my voice wasn't in place with my gameplay so basically this isn't a live commentary but you will see the live gameplay and I will just commentate over it so yeah uh, so obviously first of all I've put a, a Sultron head on uh, with the, I, th I I don't know what the armor is called, I honestly don't know, but then we had a Robo Brain body. Um, today's build is a, um, I think it's a Pyro build, if you don't know what the Pyro is, um, I'll most likely have it on the screen now. Um, basically Pyro is a class from Team Fortress 2, um, where uh, you kind of use a flamethrower as your main weapon and burn shit. So, uh, that's what I've gone for this, I've got made um, the robot look quite badass and quite you know uh, strong but obviously with the flamethrower um, weapons attached to it um, as you can see now I'm just uh, customizing the armor and everything like that and then I'm looking at the uh, you know the arms uh, no uh, at this point as you're seeing I'm just looking at the kind of uh, stuff but now I'm looking at the arms um, so I was debating whether to put sentry arms on, but they looked a bit too big and bulky. So uh, for this one, I kind of just left the protect one arm and then changed the uh, uh, like the weapon to obviously the flamer. Um, but and then obviously I put the um, the armor on as well. But uh, as you'll see later on, I decided to change the arm because well, it wasn't exactly um, what I was hoping for in looks. Um, see, this is where I changed the arm because I think the Assaultron arm looked much better and had a lot of better armor varieties as well. Um, but then I, did, I didn't have enough resources, as you'll see in a little bit. Um, uh, so I used the, um, a different armor plate and I actually reckon that made it look a bit better because having a, di a bit of a uh, variety... Hang on a minute. R variety there we go guys um it, i don't know it kind of made the robot look a bit better and it kind of made it look a bit different obviously because in a wasteland you're not gonna particularly have everything you want so scrap will probably be your best way around and if you can't make certain things exactly the same then you can't and i reckon that gave this robot quite a good um personality as you can see i've just cut because i didn't have enough resources for the legs um i went with a robo brain legs because they, they, they kind of just look awesome as well as the um both the flamethrowers uh like attached to the arms oh i haven't actually used this guy in combat yet but to be honest he just looks badass anyway it, it just utterly just amazes me how badass he looks at the end of this as you'll see um in a couple of minutes but then i've uh, put some armor on i didn't because i kind of i did that tank build um, in the last episode, I think, and I didn't want to go like the tanky kind of build, so I went with something like a more low key kind of armor. So yeah, I you know I was just looking through everything, then I was looking at the voices because what what voice would suit the pyro? I know pyro in Team Fortress Two, he doesn't really speak; he just like murmurs. Well, I say he apparently is she, but then again, it is a, a he, and he's well, he's gay. Um, you can find that somewhere else uh, to explain that because I'm not going to explain that in this video but here we go guys I'm just giving you a little overlook of how it looks but then I remembered that I hadn't renamed him so I was going back and renaming him and I kind of like the aspect where it says like a number after like after like it gives them a number like a custom number so I obviously I typed in pyro because that's the theme of the build but then I wanted to add something you know instead of just pyro so I added a number just some random number, I think it was like 742, yeah, 742, I probably should have put 420, because 420 is just, well, 420 is MLG, but still, I, I you know, I, I reckon uh, it still looks pretty cool anyway, um, but then I was deciding on what paint to go with, 
and I remembered Pyro in Team Fortress 2 because I actually really liked that game. It was red and black, so I went with the red paint and it actually looked really, really good on this robot. Uh, because I don't really like the bright, vibrant paint, but using these are uh, like armor and making it look quite rustic. Um, I really liked how it felt and how it looked on this robot. It's like you, because I usually, with most of my robots, I like them to be mostly the factorized. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I have been demanding monkey guys. Um, this has been Builderbot episode five. Uh, remember that gives me a like. And subscribe, I've been Demanding Monkey guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!